met, we met through friends and uh, it just clicked from the first night. And we've been married like 35 years, 35. It's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's like 35 years, 34, 35. And uh, two years ago, Colleen was diagnosed with cancer. And then three weeks later, I was diagnosed with cancer. I remember that after my first chemo and I'm in between first and second, I went like this oh, yeah. and my beard fell out. I mean, it fell out. On his birthday too. Yeah. It was his birthday. I was like, oh man. You know, when your hair comes out, this one's real to you. Thank you. Yeah. She started her treatment, and then shortly after, I started my treatment. So we were caretakers and also patients to each other. We leaned on each other. And this went on for uh, probably about a year. When you're sick from chemo, oh, yeah. you know, it's really it's, hard it's to... It's horrible. Yeah. When you're sick from chemo, it's really hard to stay strong. And, you know, it's like, I, I want to quit. I don't want to play this anymore. Right. <laughs> but I was, didn't feel good. I was just weak. and. I thought I would never get back to my old self. And then I saw the flyer, and it said it was for cancer patients and survivors. And I thought, well, I'll try it. Well, it was great. I was in a wheelchair. Colleen used to have to push me around if I had a doctor's appointment. And I had to wait and go get a wheelchair and go in and things like that. Two weeks ago, I did a 5K. And he didn't come in last. <laughs> Without these classes, I know for a fact I wouldn't be able to do either one of them. I wrote a little thing to help me, and uh, you know, I, I, I wrote down, yes, I have cancer, but I'm still a dancer. No, I'm not bitter, but I'm not a sitter, and I'm not a quitter. It's a, it's a fantastic program. Cancer isn't a death sentence anymore. You try it, you, you know, you don't like it. If you don't like it, you don't have to come back, but you owe it to yourself to try it.